Hi and welcome to Nurhan Storytime, where today we'll be reviewing a short movie called Black Sheep. Cornelius Walker's life flipped upside down when a boy the same age as him, 11 years old, was killed on his way back from school, which led to, to Cornelius' mom deciding to move the entire family out of London. What seemed to be a good decision turned out to be the beginning of Cornelius's spiral, where he was left to adapt in an all-white neighborhood, the only one standing out for his skin tone. The intense feeling of exclusion and the constant bullying forces Cornelius to go above and beyond just to fit in by bleaching his face, changing his hairstyle, and even changing his eye color. However, matters only get worse for Cornelius when his father becomes more absent and shows his anger physically on him when Cornelius only wanted to feel loved by his father. All these actions fueled Cornelius' rage, which was shown through violent acts with his white friend group just so he could fit in. This short movie shows Cornelius retelling his story, but from a time where he is content with himself, accepting his past, and, and unapologetically his own identity. He recounts the brutal details of the story, like when his own father physically beat him up with a forgiving tone, reminiscing the young boy in him that just wanted to feel the father's love. The movie structure is chronological, starting from Damilola's death to Cornelius as an adult now. The shots shown in the movie depict Cornelius' life through every event that he explains. The sound and the, uh, and the scenes match when Cornelius describes how he was walking alone, getting beaten up at school, or even how he was crying alone. They set the scene exactly. The sound effects like him running add to the sensory that the audience feels while watching the movie. The movie is shown in a way that is a short movie combined with a documentary, with the story as it goes matching the scenes shown, so the audience can clearly envision how the story is going. Different settings in the movie depict Cornelius' mental space during that period of time. When it's dark, it shows the gloomy nature of the environment. When it was cloudy, it shows the battling thoughts and the standing in the sunset, facing his younger self, showing that he's finally at peace within himself. This movie excelled in writing to pictures, for every scene clearly describes the part Cornelius says at that time, while, however, what felt like it was missing was how Cornelius changed and got himself out of that environment to make himself the way he is right now, at peace within himself and his own past. At the end of the day, Cornelius' mere presence in front of the camera recounting his story is proof enough of how there is light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching Nirhan Amir's story time and see you later. Goodbye.